morning. We are at uh, Emily Provincial Park. Uh, it is May the 11th, 2019. So the welcome to season three of Imagine Your Dream. Uh, we uh, pulled in here last night, probably around um, seven o'clock and got things set up. So uh, this is not fall camping. This is spring camping, but it sure looks fall camping from all the leaves that fell, but over uh, last fall. So anyways, we're just uh, up and out, up, up and out in a about so just gonna make some coffee um, get things rolling here so really looking forward to a new season uh, we have some uh, great trips planned this year so we are definitely out every single weekend between May and October so lots of traveling and speaking of traveling I picked up a new truck there it is it's a 2018 GMC Sierra Super happy with it. Uh, got a bigger motor than my last one. This one has the uh, 6.2 liter. My other truck you've seen on the videos is uh, was a 2016. It had the 5.3 in it, so uh, happy with it. Toes a lot better. Um, I put I put airbags um, in the truck just to uh, help out with the suspension and loving that. So uh, I'll talk about that another time for those who are interested in how it pulled with airbags and whatnot. So anyways, uh, the three dogs are with us and doing well. So just gonna make some coffee and uh, yeah, we'll get on with the day. All right, a little camp coffee. Let's not forget how to make it, there we go. That would have been bad. Hey, you sit, sit at home all winter, and this is what happens. A little blend of new school with old school equals we need to buy a coffee maker. So this morning it was one degree. So my lovely Heather. Got her Canada gloves on, hat on, reading her book, enjoying her coffee. I'm toasty. My viewers um, asked if I could, uh, each time we go out, uh, mention what site number we're at. So I'll definitely gonna uh, make a habit of doing that just so you get a bit of an idea um, where I'm at more for yourself so you can see what, uh, what the site's like if you're uh, planning on park, uh, camping in these provincial parks. In Ontario so we are on site 204 uh, it's close to the um, comfort station it's right beside it actually we had a site earlier we booked it back in January and they called us just a couple days ago and mentioned that um, it's underwater because it's been so saturated with rain so they moved us over here it's it's a good site it's big um, we have the three dogs uh, there's lots of room for them lots of room for the picnic table or if you have family that uh, is um, looking to camp with you. Just coming onto the site from the road. So we have a uh, 30 foot trailer. So I've just parked it off to the right as you're looking at the site. And maybe a little bit of a shot around here. It looks like we're fall camping, but we're not. As I mentioned earlier. So that's a whole big area there. Um, probably without the leaves, you're looking at dirt. There's no grass on this site. So, and then there's like a big grassy area beyond that big tree. Um, it's nice for uh, if you walk your dog along there or whatever. Play some frisbee or bocce ball or whatever you're into. And uh, that's also the uh, three way for the um, comfort station. So that's it, site 204, Emily Provincial Park. Yeah, so when I rode up here um, with the airbags, the, um, I had them at 25 PSI. So I got a still a little bit of bounce in the in the bags with the truck so i'm gonna pump it up to 30 on the way home so hopefully i think that's going to be the sweet spot for um our rig pulling it so hopefully uh, that's going to work out good my last truck i ended up putting an extra leaf spring in and then put a leveling kit on the front so i opted to go a little different this time so i'm hoping that uh, i made the right choice i think i did and just under normal use back and forth to work i'm just taking the air out and the truck rides a little bit stiffer but uh, still it's fine 
I have uh, no issues with it. So, so far so good. Pretty happy. All right, there's the airbags there. Um, so nicely installed. Right now they're at uh, 25 PSI. So they do go up to 100 PSI and they hold up to 5,000 pounds. So that's never gonna be going on with this truck, but anyways, you're able to do it. See any squirrels? Okay. Did you see any squirrels? No, not yet. But we're looking. All right, beautiful morning. So we're definitely looking forward to a great summer after this long winter here in southern Ontario. Um, had the trailer in for some work. Got the brakes checked. Got the bearings repacked. So that's all good. So it's ready to go for a full season of towing. So super happy about that. Um, so yeah, like I was mentioning earlier, we're gonna be out every weekend having some fun, enjoying our beautiful country here in Canada. So uh, our two week vacation, we are heading back up to Pancake Bay because we love it up there so much. And um, we're also gonna be going to um, Algonquin Park, um, and some other parks up in the north there, so definitely uh, looking forward to checking that out. So that's going to be uh, late July, early August. So that's going to be a lot of fun. We're feeling real lucky to have a beautiful Saturday. And this ends, I'm sure, future build, but it's all kind of heaved too, eh? Oh yeah, we got a uh, trail closed. Trail closed. Gonna do some campfire cooking. Hopefully do the veg on the cast iron pan and uh, maybe the steaks too. So we'll see what uh, see what flies. With that, here's a little shot of the fire. Beauty. Got some coals going nicely. Should be good. All right, we're doing our prepping for the dinner. We got an onion. We got green beans. We got pepper, some shiitake mushrooms, and that's going to be our veg in the cast iron. And then we're going to do the steak in the cast iron as well. Try and shake it up a little bit this year. Do a little bit more campfire cooking. Let's get the carrots going. We also got some cashews that we're going to fry up before anything for probably only about 30 to 45 seconds and get them out put these vegetables in I'm gonna season them let them cook for a very short time as well probably a couple minutes and then take them out put them in a bowl and take the cashews that we cooked previous and mix it all together and this should be delightful. All right, everything's going in the bowl. Take some salt and pepper, some EVOO oil, some spices, and we're gonna be good to go. Everything's put away, that uh, pan fried, cast iron, campfire cooking, uh, turned out really well. So we're super pleased with it. Uh, next time probably what I'll do different is maybe get the coals uh, a little hotter, a bit more wood, and also put the uh, cast iron pan 
on sooner which I actually had it on for about 15 minutes or 10 or 15 minutes so any suggestions on that um, I'll take it so if you want to comment down below about that any tips um, I'm new to it so I definitely uh, will uh, take some tips on that one so anyways turned out great now it's campfire time just all packed up ready to uh, get out of Emily Park here it was a cool weekend but we had a great time for our first weekend out of the season so uh, season three so thanks for watching really appreciate it uh, like I said uh, there'll be lots of videos uh, this summer so if uh, you're liking it hit the like button below uh, if you haven't subscribed yet I'd appreciate it if you did just uh, having some fun family fun and uh, traveling down the road so thank you very much and we'll see you on down the road